So a pleasure to be here. I'm the CEO and founder of Nord MedTech. Uh, we are a Solgenska University Hospital spin out. The company started, or it started as a project in 2017, and we founded the company in 2019. Uh, today we're around uh, 14 employees. Uh, we have main focus in the Nordics, but we start to cover a bit uh, in UK, Germany and Netherlands as well. Uh, so what do we do? We focus on collaborative robotics uh, to improve processes and workflow within acute care. Um, and the nice thing about this company is that we are founded in a clear, clear need inside the hospital. Uh, my co-founder has worked at the Solgenska radiology department for over 30 years. Uh, first as a radiographer, then as a union representative, and the last 10 years as part of the management team. And she saw this issue from several angles. And the, the, the first problem area we have decided to address is this one. So it's how you do patient transfer at uh, radiology departments today. As you see in the picture, it's a, a quite manual intense process. Uh, it can lead to work injuries and stress, uh, but it also leads to low throughput. And that's because in general they staff with two people during daytime and one person during night shift. This means that they need to call in extra support which takes extra time and decreases the utilization of this quite uh, expensive radiology equipment, uh, which in turn implies um, uh, queue times in general in our healthcare system. And this we think is an issue that will increase over time, uh, partly because of the, the staff shortage uh, within um, acute care, but also uh, because we see the machines are going quicker and quicker and we're doing more and more uh, radiology exams. So in this graph we try to visualize how this is increasing over time in the region of Stockholm. Uh, and this is partly due to an elderly population, but as you see it's also because we treat more and more, uh, more, and more patients more and more times. And this implies then that we will be do more and more of these quite uh, cumbersome and inefficient transfers. So what we have brought forward is then a um, mobile me medical device. It uh, basically enables one person to do a patient transfer with a touch of a button and some sliding boards. Uh, and the benefits we see with this one is that it results in a safe and comfortable transfer for the patient. They like it a lot. It minimizes the physical burden for the caregivers. They have the possibility to increase the patient focus during the transfer. And from a hospital perspective, they can retain the staff, reduce sick leave, and also then improve the, the throughput. Uh, so in short, uh, what we move from a, is a quite cumbersome manual process to uh, our medical device, our collaborative robot basically, enabling uh, a quite neat uh, transfer with uh, one person. The market then. So we estimate the market at 1.2 billion euros. Uh, our main focus now is Nordics, UK, Dutch and the Netherlands, where we focus on around 2,000 acute care uh, hospitals. Uh, and so far so good. We have a great response. We have around 20 hospitals in Sweden that have uh, bought and implemented uh, the device within the workflow uh, during this last year with great feedback. And now we want to do two things. We want to scale international, but we also want to scale horizontally. Uh, so taking the example of uh, uh, Solgenska, we have uh, three units at radiology, two units at interventional radiology. Uh, we have also managed to sell uh, one unit to a radiotherapy department in the Netherlands. And we're just about to start up two test periods within surgery. Uh, so if we manage to scale this uh, both horizontally within the hospital, and across um, uh, different countries, we're into a quite uh, a nice growth journey here. Uh, so to summarize this, I think we have achieved a lot to date. We have a product market fit. Uh, we have achieved good Nordic sales. We have repeat sales from a, a couple of hospitals. And we have also achieved the first sales in, um, in Germany and Netherlands. Uh, and looking forward, we would obviously would like to establish this as a standard of care 
in the Nordics, Germany and UK as our main milestone going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.